The Southern Rock Racing Series pre-race show has been brought to you by Chevrolet. From rocks to roads, Chevy runs deep. SRRS Studios. Here's your host. All right, guys, this is it. Y'all ready? Southern Rock Racing pre race show for the bouncers. Round two. Dirty Turtle. That's it. That's it. I'm Denny Downs with Rock Ridge TV. And I'm Clyde Bynum with Southern Rock Racing. Are and you with Southern Rock Racing? Sometimes. Sometimes. You know, he, he likes to play little games. I'm Dave Z. <laughs> and April who, 2nd. And who are you with? Don't worry about who I'm with. <laughs> It doesn't matter who I'm with. My name's not even Dave Z. I don't know Z, how you got so. past security. Yeah, th what security? It's like a $3 lock on your door. So come on down to uh, the SRS headquarters. Get what you need. Um, Saturday, April 2nd is a big day. Big day. Big day. Now, Saturday, April 1st is a big day, too. Wait a minute, wait and, a minute. How is Saturday, April 1st and April 2nd? Don't worry yeah. about that. It's, it's the new math. They're teaching in all the schools right now. So on Friday, April 1st, you need to take a day of vacation because I know all of you guys got three, four weeks vacation belt up and go see the UTVs. But Saturday, April 2nd, it's when the heavyweights take the stage. It's when the bouncers are mm -hmm. front and center. And uh, that's where all the girls come out. All the guys got the got the little fake tan going on. Big, big horsepower. <laughs> big horsepower. Um, might, might even be some semi-difficult hills. There are. This semi, year, I haven't seen I haven't seen a semi-difficult hill yet. This year. That first race was a couple of semi-difficult hills. Uh, all right, that's just gonna tell y'all what's coming up. Gonna be a good time. Mm. Now Clyde went out at the end of last year, and he uh, basically told everybody. 2016 is going to be the year for the hills because the drivers were calling for it. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't the fans uh, because everybody was really happy well, with what was happening out there. The drivers, the, most part. the drivers like like what True Rock Bouncing is, uh, and we're going to keep it. You know, we're going to keep it where it's still a good time and, and still doable hills, not bounty hills. But uh, and it, it's hard to find that fine line that's that's difficult hills that that works for the drivers and the crowd and. Keeping everything going and safe and all that good stuff, but these uh these RCV recovery guys they help us make it work and, and of course the parks we go to we're going to Dirty Turtle this time Scott and his crew they they also do a lot of work and, and help us keep it flowing. And National Tire and Wheel, <clears throat> these guys make it all possible for the bouncers to do what they do uh, up at the Turtle yeah, and we, uh, for the Na Cup this year. National Tire and Wheel is the Northern presenting sponsor, so they help us make it happen on the North. Now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> doing a, a medicare right, see? <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing there's this guy his name is Craig Craig and I'm gonna destroy your last name I know what your last name is but uh old uh, uh old Reichwald over here from RCB <laughs> now he came down he's he's one of those what do they call them cheese cheese heads he's from up Minnesota way and really great guy. Serious note. They're he, in Rockford, mm -hmm. Illinois. But yeah, he's from up there. He's a cheese head <clears throat> through and through. And <laughs> he and the RCV recovery crew do such an unbelievable job week after week. I was glad to see Craig come out and, uh, and hang out with us at the first event. I For think sure. He, I think he enjoyed it. He may have. He may have. <laughs> but uh, no, Craig, he, good dude. But, the, but that recovery crew, I just want to talk about. I can't, you know... <clears throat> if you watch the stuff that Busted Knuckle and Mad Ram and the SRS put out every week in these all these viral videos, the one thing that you don't see that is just unbelievably entertaining is the RCV recovery crew in action. Yep, yeah. and uh, of course a lot of those guys are also the guys that help me... Uh you know, get everything put up and tear down and, and all the stuff that happens before and after the event. So. Yeah, it's, it's one of those no-frill jobs, but they're there to do it. It is. So it's just like going to watch a ball game. It's nice to watch it in your living room with your uh, beverage of choice and, you know, a snack next to you that doesn't cost $8. But 
going out and smelling that race fuel and seeing all the behind what, the scenes your, uh, action. What's your favorite flavor of race fuel? Whoa. What? Oh, <laughs> race fuel. So, like I was saying. I like the grape. Yeah. Got to get the grape <clears throat> fuel, baby. Um, <laughs> now you ain't got much to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but getting out there and seeing the action live, seeing the behind the scenes <clears throat> action, uh, meeting the racers, it's, it's really a great experience. So make sure that you're out there. Uh, April 2nd, you can get off, come on out April 1st. And uh, oh, we're gonna see uh, the Rock Rigs guy out here that, this round. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna have yeah. Rock Rigs out. We're gonna see you guys out. Yeah, we're gonna be Denny. there. Why not? His partner in crime, Mike's gonna be out there. He's gonna be wearing. He's the one that likes to hide behind the camera on the other side. I thought you said yeah. wears the pink hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Mike's he's the gonna one that, be wearing the, the pink hat. Does, he lost the bet. He's Mike the one won. that does all the work after we get done clowning. Mike does. Here. A, Mike does a lot of work. Just, to th- I mean, we, we always <laughs> give Rock Rigs a shout out, but. You know, these shows is uh, uh, a lot of people do know. Editing is some rough stuff. And uh, Mike, he handles that heavy work right there. So big shout out to him. So he will be wearing the pink hat. Um, Go check him out. (laughs) We'll see April 2nd, baby. We will be right back with the Southern Rock Racing Series pre-race show. Dave, what are we going to do next? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do next? That's always the uh, that's always the thing. Dave, what are we going to do next? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give my boy, Nick Corkburner, a call. Think he'll answer? Probably not. Cause, uh, well, he's we're calling good, from what? my phone, so he may answer. Yeah, he doesn't He doesn't answer my phone calls any oh, longer. Oh, no. Does he owe you money? Uh, no. No, oh, he might well, answer. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> We'll Tell you man. what he owes me. He owes me lunch. You hear me, Cork Burner? Is, is it ringing? It's ringing. Let's we'll see yep. if he answers. He may uh may not answer a phone yeah. call. Now, now. Hey. Yep. Hey. What are you doing? Now this is now who we got on the line right here. It's Nick Cork Burner. He uh he is the owner uh of Warfare, the Warfare buggy, uh which. Busted a drive shaft by it. Danny Smith tore that up last week. On hill one. Yeah. Danny told me before the show, he said, I'm going to jack this thing up. And he <laughs> sure enough did. But he did it in style. And we have Nick Corkburner on the line. He's uh, one heck of a guy. He does so much for the SRRS. He was actually, tell him what he was doing. Uh, he likes to hang out and just, you know, hang out with the rest of us. We uh, put up a few banners and some starting gates and put up a few pieces. Playing the mud a little bit. So you put Nick to work. Yeah, he, we put him to work a little bit. And he brings his he brings his little hard buddy. Lil hard. Little hard. Little buddy. hard. <laughs> Nick, uh, <laughs> we got some questions for you, Nick. Couple serious uh, questions. Are you ready for this? You don't have to answer. You, yes, you do. Y'all never y'all never had a serious question. Go ahead. No, this is this is a different show. This is Southern Rock Racing show. Yeah, I, I've dealt with these boys in the past. <laughs> There's a rookie out there. Um, a few of you may have heard of him. His name is Bobby Tanner. And Mr. Bobby Tanner, he... Uh, had some motor trouble. Had some motor mm-hmm. trouble. In the first race. And he, you know, he could have stayed at the house, saved some diesel fuel. But no, nah, he, he brought Blue on out. Yep, brought dude. Screaming Blue on out. And pushed him across the starting line uh, and made a show of it. So, big shout out to Bobby Tanner. But Bobby uh, actually worked and helped us out a lot, too, at the, at the recovery part. Sure did. And how he runs up and down the hill like he does <laughs> puts me to shame. It's ridiculous. Bobby, you're, you're a man's Probably man. Probably don't take a whole lot to run down the hill on you. <laughs> Whoa. Thanks, Clyde. Love my friends. So, Nick, what, what was broke on Warfare? Uh, we broke a front drive shaft. And, going uh, going to Vegas for that. I like that. Going to my how, boy how out in Vegas. How do we take care of that situation? Uh, Adam's drive shaft. We called him up. Thanks to Dave uh, hooking us up with him. You mean Dave's uh, got friends? I, do I know? You mean Dave's got friends? 
At least one. At least one. But uh, Adams hooked us up with a, uh, a drive shaft, and I basically told him that we've uh, we've twisted two and a half before, and uh, he says, "Well, I'm gonna build you one that you can't break." And I said, "Okay, we'll do my best try." Is it gonna fit in the buggy? Oh yeah. I mean, is it like fifteen, twenty? You joints out of dump trucks or something? Don't worry about that, Clyde. <laughs> we can't talk about that, Nick. James says don't talk about that. But seriously, the the thing that really got me wanting to call you and want Clyde wanting to call you is there's a little rumor going around on the streets. Little Bird told me that uh, someone may be sharing warfare with you and Danny up at the Turtle. Is is there any truth to that? Well, we could. Uh our hardest to make sure if anybody calls if we can help them out to make sure they can race we do whatever it takes and uh bobby was having some motor trouble last week at the race and uh you know he didn't he didn't get it resolved in time and he doesn't think he's gonna have it ready for a uh, dirty turtle and just sitting around talking to him and uh he said yeah i'm just gonna come do recovery and i said i said bobby if you're there you're racing and he said what do you mean i said i said you're getting in warfare and he, uh, he was kind of reluctant at first, and I pretty much told him that he didn't have any choice. Well, I mean, hmm. he, he was concerned about uh, messing up Danny's points, uh, but uh, I guess, it, you know, we all see where him and Danny are tied, so it should work out pretty good for him. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're tied at the bottom right now. We got, a long, we got a long struggle for the rest of the year. But, I mean, it doesn't matter when, when, a, when a legend like that needs a ride. It's not about the points. It's about keeping the best in the game and keeping him going. And you know, we're young. We got we've got plenty more years of fighting. And to be honest with you, I want to see what Bobby can do in, in warfare. And uh, he actually he, he doesn't know it yet. And I imagine he will after this. Um, I'm requiring him. He has to ride with Danny. He's uh oh, he's always he's always turned it down before. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make it a requirement. Danny's ridden with him multiple times, and now I'm going to make it a requirement that he has to ride with uh, somebody that drives like him. Old Nutbush Danny. So, right. Nick, we thank you for your candor. Uh, sorry to cut you off, but you're cut off. We'll, we'll talk to you soon, buddy. Love you. Bye. Sounds, sounds good. Yeah, love you. Bye. That's enough, Nick. That was Nick Corkburner. Uh, you heard it here first. If Mr. Tanner doesn't get his motor up and running by April 2nd, you will see him in the weak colored buggy warfare. (laughs) In the khaki. We will be right back with the Southern Rock Racing Series pre-race show. Hey guys, before we get to the drawing for the bouncers, I heard RCV is doing something a little different for this show. Yeah, this year we're doing the the RCV award uh, with three people that <clears throat> that basically do a little contest on social media. We pick three of those guys randomly, and uh, they're the they're the judges for each run. Hmm. Basically, one through ten, they award uh, one through ten for so each they, driver. They hold up a card. They hold up a card. Pretty cool. Huh. Nice. It's like pretty. the Olympics back in the thirties. Nice, pretty uh, card. orange cards for that RNC, RCV orange boots. And <laughs> what does the winner get? <clears throat> After each each uh, event, we have a winner at each event, and that driver that gets the most points gets $500. So we're talking hmm. $500, and what about at the end of the year? End of the year, we're also collecting those points, just like we did last year, and we'll have an overall winner at the end of the year. $10,000? No. Oh. Ugh. What? Well, what now, if, they, if they can win the fastest all year long, then they can get big money. But uh, and the tiebreaker—that's the tiebreaker for the RCV awards. So eight thousand dollars. No. No. Okay. <laughs> now, I, I, guys, I tried. I threw it out there. <laughs> nothing. I got nothing. But five hundred dollars—not bad. Five hundred dollars, and uh, at the end of the year, we will we'll be doing a big RCV trophy and everything again. That'll buy mm. five hundred dollars. Will buy. Just about half a set of RCVs for a Dana 30. Yeah. I could use that. So keep me in mind, guys. All right. All right. 
<laughs> when we tucked the wind, we didn't even hit the hill. Yeah. So, so who we got for the judges this time? Well, we got uh, Pete Rittnor, Matt Brinkley, and Casey Showalter. Oh, Showalter. I had so, an old Showalter dog. If you're one of those three, come see us at the apparel booth. Uh, let us know you're you're there and, and want to be on board, and we'll we'll get you set up. You'll have one of the best seats in the house to see very well. Hey, go say mm-hmm. hello to Tabitha and <clears throat> Jacob may be there. Uh, yeah. Will Jacob have all his teeth in? I don't know. <laughs> but Zaley, the one Zaley, tooth that... Zaley may be there handling the hats and stuff too. So you need Lil, Lil Zaley, him. she's cute. She's a live wire. Go say hello to Lil Zay Zay. Well, let's get this drawing going. <laughs> let's do it. So I guess I'm the... They're waiting on me. Waiting on you. Not Always you. A... Bam. All right. How many we got running in here this time? Uh, I believe we got 31 that's pre-registered. 31? 31. <clears throat> and this drawing is... Uh, was it Kano Armor again? Nick is gonna owe us a lot of money. Nick who? Court burner. Court, Court burner. burner. All right, which one of y'all want to be? Ah, uh, oh, we'll let him go number, number one. Number one. Who is the lucky little victim in here? Let him get started. It takes him a while to talk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Playing little little games. There. <coughs> it's my girl. It's my girl here. Uh oh. Oh, Sydney Rockwell. Love you, baby. Rockwell. Sydney. Team Rockwell. Number one. Wow. Number two is another girl. Shelby Tanner. Mm-mm. <laughs> Got the girls. Now, talking about Shelby Tanner, what a spill we saw <laughs> last dumb. race. Good gracious. A backflip, but she made it the second hill like it wasn't nothing. Ooh. Great showing. <clears throat> Next, we got my boy from East Tennessee. Who got some hot and stickies on order for me? Oh boy! I yeah, know who that is. Now I'm gonna tell you something. When I needed my wheels, I called Clyde. I said, Clyde, I need some bead locks. And he said, Figured out that cost you double, huh? I got you. <laughs> I got your number. So he calls his guy uh, from Go Forth Tire, Scott Go Forth, and hooks me up with some race lines, which are pretty freaking amazing. Now, do you rock bounce with them? <coughs> yeah, uh, little baby rocks. I, I do a lot. Of, <laughs> I do some trail riding, as most of you know. Who we got next over here? My bouncer's under construction. Ooh. Good luck, Scott. You're up next. <laughs> next, we got Richie Keith, old plowboy. Yep. And the, he's one of my. He, I tell you what, watching Mark Nero uh, the other week, new to the sport as far as running. At that level, amazing showing. Mark, you're up next. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> next is going to be Aaron Miller. There you go with it. Mess. You're going over, over there. Old Derek. Derek Catran. Derek Catran. It's pretty amazing he does that with a with a cab truck. Mm. Next up is going to be Craig Hughes. The man to beat. Brando. Brandon Davis. He is in the lead. With all those sponsors. <clears throat> next up, and you can pay attention so you get this right next time, Peter Baszler. He's not a Baszler. He's a Baszler. Peter Baszler. You're up, Mr. Baszler. And uh, he's going to kill me. <laughs> big guy. Adam, you're up next, Mr. Ringer. Adam Ringer. Next up, William Stewart. I think he might have that new Dark Knight when ready by then. There are a couple of brothers who are serious, <laughs> serious, serious competition out there. I got one right here. Jason. Jason Spiegel. Good luck to you. So, either you think one of them's really old or one of them's really young, but that's a dad and yeah. son. It's just like AJ and Sydney. They're brother and sister, too. I'm going to tell you right now, AJ, you look about 15. So I was wondering if he looked young or if Sydney just looked that old. No, Sydney Sydney looks every bit of uh, every bit of eighteen. I mean sixteen. <laughs> AJ, I lo- you look about twenty. AJ, seriously. Next up, Tim Cameron. You think he's gonna have that new one ready in time? I hear. You know, I hear he's got a rental if uh, if it's not ready, but I he's, think got, he's pushing to have it ready. He's got a serious rental. <clears throat> um. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but uh, if you're into comic books, <laughs> I'm not going to go any further. I can't do that. 
I can't do that. Because uh, Timmy may get angry, and you wouldn't like him when he's angry. So, but smart money, smart money's on Timmy having his ready. Wouldn't you say, Clyde? I don't know. I, I haven't seen any progress or anything. I don't know where he's at, but uh, I do. I do know. I've heard that he's gonna have it as a roller this week, so he'll be cutting it close. Um, Who we got next? We got Danny Smith. <clears throat> Danny Smith, an old warfare. That's it. Nutbush, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of comic books, we got Ryan Brumhall next. Who? Ryan Brumhall. Broomhill. Oh, I guess you know him as Broomhill. I, I, I don't know him <laughs> anything else but Broomhill. And one heck of a guy right here, Clint Evans. Clint, you're running next. Next up is going to be Bobby Tanner. And another one of the Spiegel brothers. One of the Spiegel brothers, Ethan. (laughs) The younger brother? Spiegel. The younger brother, Ethan. (laughs) I guess next we're going to have to start a ride. Jake Berkey, you're next. Y'all got that, right? Riot, Burke. All right, come out to the race. Figure out, figure that one out. Ah, oh, you're gonna have to give me a minute on this one. Our producer's going crazy right now. He's like, "End this thing, kill it." But you know, my boy right here. We're gonna get him his own. I mean, he's requested his own theme music when he comes on out. We got to get some ACDC going. For none other than <laughs> the hit man, Travis old T Love, <clears throat> Travis Love it. T Love, that's a man. Yeah, that's a hit man, baby. <laughs> Next, we got old Joe Pierce. He uh, he had a pretty good time at the first race for sure. Now, as in good time, we're talking about end over, end over, <laughs> end over. No, I think it was more of a circle, and, and, and then he did over something, end. and it was crazy. <laughs> Joe, hope you're feeling a little bit better with the you know the thing and the. <laughs> Love you, guy. He put a whooping on his uh, go four tires and stuff, that's for sure. Yes. And we got the Hoover Maneuver himself, old Barney Hoover. Barney Hoover. Yes, sir. Well, next up, what do you got to say about that kid? C.J. Bynum. <laughs> I got lots to say, but I can't. If Mama's sitting back there, it's crazy. I can't, I can't say half of what I want to say. But uh, good luck, C.J. Yeah, no idea. Aaron Selden, <laughs> we'll see you out there, buddy, at the turtle. Next up, we got Randall Key. Now, Randall killed it at the last one. He killed mm-hmm. it at the last one. And my prediction is, Randall, you're top 10 this year, buddy. At least top 10. And uh, Dustin Kalansky, that's a last name like mine. You know, I had to shorten it to Z because my <laughs> last name, forget about it. Uh, yours Forget, not that bad. Forget about it. <laughs> Next up, we got Kenneth Reese in the Adrenaline Buggy. And Todd Durham. Mm. Todd Durham, you're up next. We'll see you out there. Next up, we got Kyle Crouch. He's pretty local to the turtle up there. Kyle Crouch. That's it, right there. Last one running. Last one. Who's the last one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's wow. Another local. <laughs> Old Slade. Slade Martin. Slade Martin. You're up in next. The Martin so, you know, when you get on out there, park is open for wheeling. Bring Always. your rig on mm-hmm. out. Bring your ATV on out, UTV. Come on out. Have a great time with us at the Turtle. Make sure you take a day of vacation. See us April 1st, April Fool's Day. Watch the UTVs. These things are ridiculous. They're, they are awesome. <clears throat> Go shake this guy's hand right over here. Denny's going to be out there at the Turtle. Clyde, he's gonna be wearing something. I'm gonna try to make he's gonna it. Wear up. something cute, I promise you. <laughs> and uh, go see the other half of Rock Rigs. Uh, go see Mike. He's gonna be wearing the pink hat all day, all day, Oof. all weekend, all day. So <clears throat> Turtle, Come April see us. first and second. Any more information that you need? Go to www.srrs.rocks. We'll see you there. This has been a Rock Rigs production.